Now, how to plot beam spread. Again, we have a block for that. If we click on the As Me button here, it gives us an option to actually go to the A5 block, often called the IOW block, which is for plotting beam spread and for checking resolution. Automatically, the plotter has, sh has been displayed here. We can get rid of the plotter by clicking on this button here. A ruler has also appeared, which we can drag about the screen. Now on the plot on the block, we can see various holes. This one's at 30 millimeters deep, 19 millimeters deep, 43, 25, and some other holes here for checking resolution. The concept of doing measure of uh, marking beam spread, plotting beam spread, is we set it on one of the holes here. I'm setting it on the 25 mil hole. Increase the amplitude to about, uh, let's say, 100 percent, or it could be 80 percent. No, we'll set it to 80%. And then, move our ruler out of the way, we mark, we maximize the echo. And when the echo is maximized, about there, we can sometimes use the cursor keys to be more accurate to move the probe instead of the mouse. That's about right there. Set it to 100%, the echo. About there. And we mark the emission point of the probe with our pen. We then move the probe forward until the echo drops to the 20% point. And then we mark again on the block with our pencil. Move it back to the maximum position and move it until it drops the other side to 20% of full screen height. We've been working on the hole which is 25 millimeters deep. This is the beam line on the plotter and this is the 25 mil line drawn through it. Use our ruler to measure the distance from the mission point to the back position which is about five six six millimeters and the front one is on this occasion about the same and we'll mark six millimeters here in actual fact we take the back measurement and put it on the front and mark it here and then six millimeters this side so we've got two marks there then we repeat this for all the holes I'm going to repeat it just for the 19 set that to 100 percent that's 100 percent mark the center emission point of the probe move forward until it drops to the 20% position which is about, about there so you can see that represents the lower edge of the beam mark the emission point repeat to the other side until it drops to 20 that's about there this represents the top edge of the beam mark the emission point Grab the ruler again. Now we're on the 19 mil deep hole, which is this line here. So we'll measure the distance back here, which is six millimeters. And we mark that forward on here. Now the good news is both, me both measurements 
are often about the same. So six millimeters back here. Now we would repeat this for the other holes as well. So essentially we would get marks here and here and here and here. And then we put a line through them. And there we have our beam spread. So the beam spread represents this point here, all, all of this point here, all of this beam width is the, the beam of interest at the 20% uh, mark. So we could use that for sizing. 